Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to do a poured artistic canvas. And this is going to be directly poured onto the canvas. So let's get started. I've been seeing a lot of videos lately with people doing the liquid pour art. And today I'm going to give it a try. And usually they mix all their paints and pour them into a container and then they turn it upside down on their board. But I'm going to try something different. I'm just going to use these crafters paint and I have some water. So the first thing I want to do is get this wet because I want my paint to be able to slide around. So I'm just going to pour some water on and I'm just going to spread it around so that my canvas is wet. Just bring off any extra and I'm going to start mixing my paints. So I'm going to start with my purple color. I'm just going to put some in this container. And then I'm going to add some water and stir that around. And that is too wet, so I'm going to add some more. Okay, so when it just pours off in, into a stream instead of individual drips, that should be the right consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix all my colors. Okay, I have all my colors ready. I have purple, blue, red. I have this metallic silver and white. And my canvas is wet with water. I'm just going to start with purple. I'm just going to pour some down in the center. And I'm going to let it run like that. And then I'll do the blue. And then I'll put the red. And some silver. And you can see it's still spreading. You're just going to let it spread on its own. Put some purple. And some blue. Silver. I don't think it's wet enough there. I'm just going to add a bit more water so that it can spread. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Now I'm going to continue to add different colors. It can help it along a little. So I'm going to concentrate on this area now. I'll put some purple and some blue, silver, and a little more purple. Tilt it and let it run. And I'm going to add some more blue right here and a dot of silver. And while it's still wet, if you want to add more colors in specific places, you can just take your your stick and just add some dots. I'm going to just swirl it a little bit more. Add one more dot of red here, one dot of turquoise in the center, and I'm just going to let that dry. And there you go. There's an easy way to create abstract art. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.